Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a haul video and before I do that I just want to talk about a few things. One thing is my hair is super frizzy. I actually had it curled before but it like fell out throughout the day and I put some dry shampoo in and it's just a long story. And also I wanted to say that today was my first day at Ulta. So I did like training on the register and stuff and oh my gosh, it's so complicated. I'm starting to get a hang of a few things. Probably like two more times of working and I'll be fine. If you're wondering about this makeup look, I actually have a few tutorials using the L'Oreal Info eyeshadow in amber rush so I will put a link to those down below if you guys want to get this similar kind of look um, I did use different products but it's basically the same idea I cannot act normal when I have nude lips. I'm probably going to be doing another haul in the near future just because I ordered a winter coat off of an online website and also I bought some stuff at Forever 21 a little while ago thinking about buying some boots from Target. So once I get all that stuff together then I will be doing a clothing haul. Hopefully I'll still be doing a lookbook sometime. I know I said I was doing a lookbook like 3,000 months ago but I don't know. I'm just never satisfied with how it turns out so maybe I'll just film it and then just be like whatever the first things that I'm going to show you are from the drugstore or Walgreens in particular the bad thing about me having my license is that I can go to the store if I'm like in a bad mood or if I'm sad or something and then I just buy makeup so the first thing I got was the Jordana Fabu liner it's a whoa it's a liquid eyeliner pen and this is in the color black Looks like that that's what the little marker part looks like. I've tried like all of these products. It is actually extremely similar to the Milani iTech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner and this is in blackest black but this is literally blackest black and it is really pigmented and I love the size of the uh, tip. If I had to choose between these I would probably choose this one just because it's better but this is more inexpensive so maybe it's just the one that I got isn't really that great and then the next thing that I got is the Jordana um, eyeliner oh this is an eyeliner wow that makes more sense now so I got this for my eyebrows and I mean there are a lot of eyebrow pencils that are really red toned but the one that I use right now the Maybelline definer brow I couldn't find it at my Walmart and I haven't been able to check at Ulta which I should have checked today but I didn't think about it apparently this is an eyeliner um, I didn't like it on my eyebrows because again it was really red but this is just in medium brown then I have the Jordana easy liner for lips and it's a retractable pencil and this is in Cabernet. I really like this. I really 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 like this. Purple, reddish purple color. It is seriously so pretty and I've been putting this under like all of my red lipsticks or any dark lip that I wear because I just love it so much and I love wearing this on its own too for more of like a matte look. It's really pigmented. It goes on really smoothly. I love this so much more than the Rimmel Exaggerate lip liners. I've talked about those before and those are really waxy to me on my lips but this one just goes on so smoothly and perfectly and it was really cheap too so I'm definitely going to be checking out more of these. Jordana Easy Liner for Eyes and this is a retractable pencil too and this is in brown. So this is just like the lip liner but it's a eyeliner and I wanted just a basic brown eyeliner because I actually don't have one if you can see that, that one is what that looks like. So that is it for everything that I got at Walgreens. I actually picked up two things today from the grocery store, so I figured I'd just show you that. So the first thing that I got is this deep clean facial cleanser. This is the face wash that I use, and I ran out of it. So, and it was on sale too, so... <laughs> Of course, that's the most exciting thing to me in the world. And then I got a dry shampoo because my hair is straight and I want to try to keep it straight for maybe like a week or two more, which kind of sounds gross because like you're not washing your hair for like two weeks. The last few days I've been putting argan oil on it and I've been very intelligently putting it on all of my hair because you know, my, my scalp doesn't get oily, but it's been looking oily so I was like hey I need to get some dry shampoo I tried to do like my own DIY dry shampoo that didn't that didn't no 
that didn't work. I just got this. It was only $2.99 and I remember seeing it and someone bought it at Ulta. Suave dry shampoo and it's supposed to absorb oil, freshens fine and straight hair between washes. So I just got this to freshen my hair and it smells really good. So that is everything that I got from the drugstore and stuff. Then I have stuff that I got from Ulta. I went to the Benefit Benebrow tour event at my Ulta. Um, I went there for Beauty Baby 44 and Miss Megan Makeups meetup and I met them and it was so exciting and I got my eyebrows waxed for free and I brought a bunch of Benefit products which is awesome. I don't know, they're just really cool and I feel like we could totally be like best friends or something. Maybe, possibly, probably not because I'm a weirdo. I don't have friends. I'll show you the stuff that wasn't Benefit first and then I'll show you the Benefit mm -hmm. stuff in a second. So I bought two NYX products because they were buy one get one free or 50% off. I forget which one. And I used my Ulta discount so that was really exciting for me too. I got the NYX Wonder Pencil and this is basically like a nude eyeliner, concealer, eye brightener, reverse lip liner in one. So you can do a lot of different things. And I normally use the Rimmel Scandalize nude eyeliner but as you can see the color difference is pretty pretty evident and um, I really like this it really does brighten up your eyes but sometimes I feel like it looks a little bit unnatural so I wanted to see if something a little bit darker would look a little bit more natural on me and this does look a little bit more natural but it's not nearly as creamy and like blendable as that pencil is so I'm not too crazy about this. Um, I got it in the color dark, so I will definitely still keep using this, but I prefer the Rimmel one over that one. And then I got the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in Abu Dhabi, and this is a nude color. I'm actually wearing this today, but I'm wearing it with like 10,000 other things over top of it, so you probably can't tell. It's not like an accentuate your lips kind of nude, it's like nude. It's you don't have any more lips kind of nude. So if I am going to use this, I like to kind of outline the shape of my lips to make them look like they actually have a shape and I like adding a little bit of color to like the center part just to like make it look like my lips are actual lips and not like my, my face. And that is what that one looks like. And I love these soft matte lip creams. I have three of them now. I have a red, I have a pink, and now I have a nude, so. All I need to do is get all of them and I'll be set for life. So because I got an appointment and went to the benefit event and stuff, I got this free tote bag. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I think my mom was more excited about that than I was. But in that bag, we had two free products. And the first one is the Sugar Bomb Ultra Plush Lip Gloss. And this is basically like a nude lip gloss. That's just what that looks like. It'll be good for like if I'm doing a smoky eye or something like that. And then I got a sample or a travel size little thing of the Benefits Their Real Mascara. And I think most people know what the Benefits Their Real Mascara looks like. Um, I do really like this mascara, but I'm almost positive that I'm allergic to it. If I'm allergic to it, then I'm not gonna be able to use this. So um, I'm gonna keep trying this one out and see if it irritates my eyes or anything or if this is actually the thing that's irritating my eyes. If it is, then I will probably put this in a giveaway, a potential giveaway that will be in the future. Potentially. Oh, also the other thing that I got um, that wasn't benefit was the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I have been using the Chill Makeup Setting Spray, but I find that I like this one a lot better. It just really locks my makeup in place, like nothing goes anywhere. I don't know why I didn't get the full size of this one. I didn't remember it until I was actually in line to check out, and then I was like, oh, I need to get this, and then I just got the smaller one. So that's what you get for not making a list, Alex. So I got my eyebrows done there. I heard a lot about this product. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow, and it's basically like a brow setting gel, and I actually needed one and I heard that this was um, good for kind of giving your brows a fuller look I personally think it's just a tinted brow gel if you want to have more of a natural brow you can just put this in your eyebrows and not fill it in or anything but I'm nuts and I do five million things with my eyebrows so obviously I have to use this on top of every other thing that I put on my eyebrows and then it has a little tiny baby wand and the last two things that I got were the Rockateur blush this is the new kind of 
rose gold blush like every beauty vlogger has been talking about this and it comes with a little brush which isn't bad I just personally use my brushes it doesn't have like straight up shimmer or like get glitter in it but it does give your cheeks like a really nice sheen I'm not wearing it today I'm just oily it gives your face a really nice sheen so you probably won't need to wear a highlight if you wear this blush blush I've never tried a benefit boxed powder or blush or anything like that so I just wanted to try it out and I was actually going to get benefit Tula bronzer but one of the girls that worked there told me that this would be a better deal because it comes with the hula bronzer so this is the greetings from cabana glamour your destination makeup kit is that in english that's not in english that's just what that looks like so it has a little sample thing of the benefit hula bronzer and it has a little brush again then this is the some kind of gorgeous foundation um, but it is too light for my skin tone I may be able to use it under my eyes or maybe like as a concealer so I'll try it out and see if that'll work and then they comes with three eyeshadows which all kind of have a satin finish then it comes with a small sample of posy tint today I actually used my regular wet n wild bronzer and then I just contoured a little bit with the hula bronzer because it's really good as a contour so requesting other videos you'd like to see down below let me know what you think of this video video and yeah I will see you guys in the next video I love you bye